Hello everyone, welcome to this week's devlog. In this last week, I added the ability to place and break voxels. I'll demonstrate this by building a little house. As you can see, the building, although fast, is uh, going to take a while, so let me speed this up. Alright, now we have a little house. I think it looks pretty nice. This isn't the only thing that I worked on, however. One thing that's interesting about Minecraft is that it takes a long time to update many, many blocks. And because of that, there's a limit to how many blocks you can change. As we can see here, there's a maximum of 32 by 32 by 32 blocks that you can break and place, break or place in Minecraft. If I try to extend one of these axes by even just one unit, then it will fail. In this project I'm working on, however, I can break very, very many blocks or place very very many blocks with nearly zero impact on the performance. This is because I simulate everything on the GPU. I'll start by showing just a couple um, placements of these spheres that I believe are 32 units uh, in radius. Then I'll extend the radius to 64. And then I'll show off uh, that if I continuously break or place, it is so fast that I actually um, for it to be usable, need to leave the chunk area and then it just looks like I'm painting on a 2D plane. As a final note for this week, and for those of you who have stuck around to this point, I'll show off just a little thing I was toying around with, which is global illumination. That's about it for this week's devlog. Thanks for watching.